GT Countdown. The top 10 most anticipated games of TGS 2007. The Tokyo Game Show is almost upon us, and the land of paper cranes and Godzilla is about to belch out a whole bunch of games. Sifting through the Mahjong compilations reveals the true gold. Long-running franchises primed to peak, and fantastic new titles ready to rock out of the bounds of imagination. And while Nintendo is fashionably absent once again, there are more than enough games to make this list ten times over. Domo arigato, and enjoy. Number 10. No More Hero. As gamers know by now, some Japanese games contain a particular kind of crazy. The kind of crazy that lets an American anime fiend go up against the world's most lethal and most freaking bizarre killers for the title of number one hitman after winning a lightsaber in an online auction. The kind of crazy that combines a free roaming world and Wiimote controls with pro wrestling moves and bodies being split in half. In other words, it's our kind of crazy. Number 9. Devil May Cry 4. Dante and his brother's next adventure keeps looking better each time we see it and with both the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions playable on the floor, we're not sure where the fever pitch rests, on the game's breakneck speed, difficulty and visual flair, or the accompanying fanboy war that's sure to take place. Number 8. Last Remnant. Not to be outdone by Splinter Studio Mistwalker and their upcoming title Lost Odyssey, Square Enix has debuted an IP of its own. Set to spearhead the company's worldwide release strategy as well as a series of more company firsts, including massive army scale battles powered by the Unreal Engine, button pressing quick time events, and a distinct Western influence that's more Dark Ages than Dark Eyeliner. It may not be final, but hopefully it will be the first last. Number 7 Dragon Quest 9. Last year, Square Enix made the shocking announcement that the next game in the venerable and profitable Dragon Quest series wouldn't be for the expectant PS3, but for the DS. Will the quest be as epic on Nintendo's handheld? With online play and visuals that look downright majestic for a portable game, we're expecting Dragon Quest IX to play the role of a hero. Number 6. Soul Calibur IV. The soul looks like it's burning brighter than ever with the newest evolution of the legendary weapon-based fighting game. How can you not look forward to trading blows with some of the best and bustiest characters around, and mastering new characters with new ways to introduce your enemy to the business end of your blade? Of course, we're also hoping that we have time to unlock some of Ivy's new costumes. Number 5. White Knight Story. This next-gen RPG is looking like it could be a great untold legend and we can't wait to hear more at TGS. So far, we've only seen two measly trailers, but the glorious gameplay and breathtaking cinemas hint at a story and kingly game mechanics. With talks of monsters standing football fields tall, it looks like developer level 5 is shooting high with this one. And what's going to happen when the Black Knight shows up? Number 4. Final Fantasy XIII. Sony may have been betrayed by Fairweather exclusives, but it still has the royal family of RPGs standing by its side. With the release of Final Fantasy XIII still lying on the other side of the known universe, anything Square divulges at this year's TGS is sure to be worth months of careful analysis. Hopefully, the battle-hardened veterans of the Squeenix dev team can bring battles worthy of an Advent Children's sequel to life. Number 3. Ninja Gaiden 2. Finally, the official decree has come. A nation of lowly ninja dogs can slip back into Ryu skin for a completely new Ninja Gaiden. There's not a lot of info now, but even glimpses of new weapons, like a beautiful scythe, which is so awesome it breaks out of the letterbox, have us primed and ready for whatever Itagaki-san has planned. Our thumbs are blistering in anticipation for what should be one of the best looking and best playing games of the show. Number two. Metal Gear Solid 4. At this point, we're not sure what's older, Grey-Haired Snake or the exponential swell of expectation that's followed this game for going on three years. With beauties and the beasts ready to tease and tempt us with a playable version of TGS. Well, we just can't get enough of Snake. And his statue camo, and cybernetic tentacle ninjas, and bleeding robots, and robot dogs, and everything else. Number 1. 
Resident Evil 5. With Resident Evil 4 being one of the best games ever, and RE5's E3 trailer being one of the most provocative pieces of media ever created, literally everyone and their grandmother is excited about the series' new parasitized progeny. Hyperbole aside, even though we're not 100% sure we'll see the new horror at TGS, we want to see more in the worst way. And when it comes to Resident Evil, the worst way isn't something we take lightly.